that's so annoying. Yeah, yeah that's one of the habits I have to reinstitute. Or I don't get up in the morning. All others are indebted. That's ugly. I've always got so good shoes with this stuff. I mean, it would be cute if it's little. It's kind of neat though, a little bit, huh? I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I think we should get into the damn dungeon. Uh, oh, yeah. I think it. put plays on, you know, like old Western movie plays. Huh. Huh. How you want to die? You think? I don't know. We'd had a, a haunted house going down at that, uh, remember the, the pink house down there in between Jeff Peters and, uh, the corner right there? Yeah. It would be scary. Let's go to one of those. Yeah, but did they defecate or wet themselves? Um, they wouldn't fucking go back in there and say a damn word about it. Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, the outdoor club, let's get our race on 5 p.m. Huh. When I was young, my uncle, my, well, not my uncle, but my cousin's stepdad, oh, this case right here, his name was Jim Blair. And um, that right there used to be a wooden restaurant. Oh, fuck, it was awesome. Good food and just nice people and good atmosphere, you know, in lots of room. This was a bar called the Silver Eagle. It was really fucking nice. Uh, they had parties in there. Fucking people party, beat at each other, you know. Stab each other up, go back in and start drinking again. <laughs> no shit. Fucking. Uh, Mitchell's mom and stepdad owned it. And, you know, Mitchell put sock hops on there and stuff. And it was a lot of fun growing up. Then they had the Frosty downtown. They had the Anna Creek Cafe. Right. Uh, when my mom was growing up, though, back, you know... In her day, they had uh, three bars, two movies, or a movie theater. She'll tell you a story sometime, but they had a lot of more stuff than we have now. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, half the buildings How are... How is that possible? Half the buildings are gone. <laughs> I mean, there was so much more That's down by, like, the river, you know? I mean, there was, like, there was, like, there were places down by the river where they actually, like, made things. I heard they made lumber. Out of trees! Are you yes. talking about nerving down the mail because I found it right now? It's like coffee. Yeah. Oh my god, it's one of the best views there is too. Let's see it. Uh -oh. oh shit. I'm taking over here. Sure. I got it. You can save this and I'll get that. I said Fuck. I said to you. Fucking god damn it. I got it. God damn it. I got it. <laughs> What the fuck? Give me a gun. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can get the donut. I can handle this like a champ. Cause you, you know, you wanna talk and use your phone and. I, I don't know. I'm just, you, got you know. It, you got it. I got, I, I got, got it. I got some shit going on here, man. And they give me these like inferior bags, man. And I was traumatized. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to, I'm gonna have to go to therapy. I was walking along listening to a story as I was, and you know, people bag just came up and went. We gotta make a claim to the DRO, man. I gotta get rehabilitated. <laughs> Well, they've been gone. They moved. No. They moved. They're gone. To where? I have no fucking idea. But, you know. I mean, you gotta do a lot of shit to walls. I mean, you can't just go into a house and start cooking food for people. You have to. Do certain things where the stoves go right, certain kind of oh, fire. Well, stuff. it depends, yeah. it depends, but yeah, there's like there's a difference between residential and commercial, and it usually costs twice as much. Yeah, yeah, so it's not really worth it to go the legal route to save your oh. fucking life. 
Mm. Insurance. Well, no, because I may not even be using the materials. I wonder if Gates are using the materials. Oh, get life insurance. Do they have their money? Hmm? Mafia also and gangsters and stuff like that. Do they go and get money with their mob money? I mean, life insurance? I don't know. They do all kinds of uh, fraudulent things with you, I mean, you relating to... Uh, you just have money and go buy stuff randomly around the place. Nobody's going to ask you where the fuck you got that money. I don't give a fuck who you are. You know? Oops. Sorry about that. Well, yeah. Well, I went through a freaking... Well, you bought like an airplane, you know, and a boat and paid for kids. I don't know. I I really don't worry about it. Oh, you don't you don't have a big urge to have a bunch of money? Uh I have all the money I need. That's nice. Really though? Really? You live you you learned how to live on what you need and you know how to survive with what you got. Mm. Or you any supply of money. Mm, I've had a lot of money, and I've you not had. A, rolling in? And I ha I've not had a lot of money. But you were born with money. <clears throat> I mean, your parents like you grew up and you had. Oh money. man, I was, <laughs> fun, fucking paper boy, at fucking ten years old when I wanted some. You did. Well, the, the 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 mongoose that I wanted had to be earned. Let me look at Gary. How he did that song? Huh? I said, where'd Gary go? He did just like that. I don't know. He's like... So what kind of like, mongoose did you get? Um, it was the... Uh, it wasn't the old style. Uh, the early models. It was one of the... Uh, cheaper... I don't know. Where'd they start making oh, them? Goodness. Probably China. <laughs> But I don't know, I rode that around and, you know, had my route bike and... No, Ma. I give a shit not. God damn you, cute little bastard. Fuck. Look at him. Got a little bird on his little chest and a little smoke going up. He's cute. I'm talking to you, talking to you. Look at the dog. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Oh, yeah. Joy. Pardon me? Who? Karen you. Who? Oh, I heard about that, Joe. I'm so sorry. He was a good guy, though. He had a long, fulfilled life. A very, uh... Wait a minute, what? Uh, you, 